they said that they would have an adjuster contact me, and they would come out and take pictures and tell me how much the estimate on the car would be. And I said, okay. And I said, and what do I do for a car to drive in the meantime? And he authorized a rental car for 10 days. And then I didn't hear from anybody on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. So on Wednesday, I called him back and told him that I hadn't heard from an adjuster yet. And if I had not, did not hear from him, I gave him until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I was going to call and have the car towed to where I was going to have it fixed. So it took about an hour before the guy called, and by the time he called, I had already called, and they had come. The car was on the way to the shop, and I told the guy, and the gentleman was a adjuster from Salem, and he said he was swamped because of all the weather, the bad weather we had had and everything. So he would see if he couldn't get it assigned to somebody in Portland because they would be closer to than he was. Okay, let me know. Nobody contacted me. It was another week, and they had assigned somebody to the car and he called and introduced himself and he said that he would make an appointment to see my car in. about three or four days later he called me and he said I had a problem and I said what's my you know what's wrong and he said well I, he said I had a problem and he had been to that morning to look at another car, not mine, and he said, I was thrown off of the property, so I can't go on the property this afternoon to look at your car. Really? I said, well, it sounds to me like you have a problem, not me. And he says, no, it's your problem, because I'm not going to be able to see you.